A few weeks ago, I spoke about the fear of cancer and how to climb out of that fear. This is a follow-up to that video. What I'm about to say may be considered a little bit provocative, but please hear me out. One of the things I've noticed is a growing trend of the cancer prevention bandwagon, where we're being bombarded with messages on a daily basis about how to avoid cancer. Sharing tips and advice on how to improve your health is fine, but have you noticed that a lot of health promoters inadvertently cross into fear promoting by speaking about how you are destroying your body unless you take certain measures to prevent disease. And that's what I want to address here. I know that those who share these messages are, are really well-meaning, but encouraging you to live from a place of cancer prevention still feeds the fear of cancer, doesn't it? I know that everyone says prevention is better than cure, but think about this. Do you want to make all your choices from a focal point of avoiding cancer? Or would you rather your choices come from a place of joy, well-being, and a passion for life instead? I mean, I'd much rather the latter, wouldn't you? Let me give you an example of what I mean and share some experiences from my own life. Long before my own diagnosis, two people very close to me were diagnosed with an aggressive form of the disease. I watched their bodies deteriorate despite receiving treatment from the most advanced treatment centers in the world. And because of that, I developed a huge fear of cancer. Because of this fear, I wanted to do everything I could to avoid getting cancer. So I started researching everything that was related to prevention. This led me to a health seminar that was hosted by two natural healthcare experts. They were very well-meaning, but the whole seminar was about all the things in our world and our daily lives that cause cancer. Basically, they said that our water contains lead, which causes cancer, Fish contains mercury, which causes cancer. Chicken contains hormones, as does all dairy products, which causes cancer. Vegetables contain pesticides, unless they're organic. And they also said sugar feeds cancer cells, and that included most fruits as well. They went into great detail about how these foods were slowly destroying our bodies and also went on about air pollution causing lung cancer, etc., etc. At the end of the seminar, they all asked the audience, are you scared? Of course I was scared. For me, this wasn't a health seminar. This was a fear seminar. And as a result of this, I became obsessive about avoiding cancer. I researched everything I could about the disease and its avoidance. I ate raw plant-based foods, took loads of supplements, cut out sugar, alcohol, gluten, everything. And for me, sugar was hard. I mean, no desserts or chocolate? Take me now. But guess what? Even after avoiding everything that could possibly cause cancer, I got diagnosed with cancer. Now, I'm not telling you this to scare you, but think about this. There I was, already avoiding the sugar, the gluten, the meat, doing the juicing, obsessing about eating clean, raw, plant-based foods, taking the antioxidant supplements, and so on and on. Yet I still get cancer. And then when it was recommended that I needed chemo, I was filled with fear of what these chemo drugs would do to my body. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I lived in this abyss of fear, literally until I died. So here's what I want to tell you. It's neither your food nor your meds that are going to determine the quality of your life. 
It's about living life. When I died from cancer, it wasn't because I wasn't eating right or taking the right drugs. It was because I wasn't living life. Instead, I was avoiding disease. The real driving force behind our health is our will to live, our reason for being. Now, I'm not saying don't eat healthy, but I am saying relax, enjoy your food, enjoy your life. Eat healthy and delicious foods because they're delicious and because you love yourself and you love your life and you want to live long, not because you fear disease. When we obsess about disease prevention, we're sending our own brain the message that our bodies don't have the capacity to heal on their own without our intervention. But your body is smarter than you give it credit for. And by the way, my mother is 87 years old and she eats sugar every single day of her life and she loves it. She doesn't plan to stop. Health isn't about avoiding disease. It's about living life fully. It's about making your choices from a place of love, not fear. It's having a passion for your life and a purpose for being here, getting to know who you are and doing what you love and finding your calling. And that includes connecting with people and sharing happy times with those you love, including sharing meals. It's living, loving, laughing, and don't forget, it's also eating chocolate. That's the true driving force behind good health. Until next time.